to my channel and another meal prep review video weigh-in video and today I'm going to show y'all just a few of my Amazon favorites I don't know how many I've got I think just five or six but just some things that I wanted to share with y'all that I always order or that I have ordered from Amazon and that I love and so I have Mr. Charlie here with us for the meal prep review part and then he's also going to assist and hand me the stuff that I have laid out over here from Amazon so that I can discuss it and what I like about it and things like that and um, we're also going to talk about my weigh-in which is really uneventful and yeah so if you are new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed please hit that red subscribe button down below and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads I upload several times per week I think I'm uploading about four times per week now in some weeks there could be five uploads so um, lots of content out there for you and if you have any requests for anything be sure to leave it in the comments down below and also follow me over on Instagram. I will leave my Instagram handle here for you as well. And follow me there. And I also have a Facebook group. If you want to join that Facebook group, there is a link down in the description box to that Facebook group also. And Charlie has, of course, launched his new uh, YouTube channel, which is called Charlie Shows You How. It's a DIY channel. So far, it's kind of revolved around him fixing up his uh, 2003 Land Rover Discovery that he just purchased that needs quite a bit of work done on it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Probably more than what he thought it needed in the beginning whenever he bought it, but you know, he wants to make sure before he sells his truck that he has everything fixed on those, which if you've ever owned one of those cars, they can be expensive to fix if you don't know how to do it yourself. But we've owned a few and they're all old. We don't own anything that has been an expensive purchase per se, but we've had to make some expensive repairs. Yep. Um, so over the years, Charlie has learned how to uh, do a lot of the repairs. So he wanted to purchase one of these cars and yeah, he's getting to do a lot of repairs now. And so that's what his channel basically is going to be. But then it will also go into some DIYs and stuff around the house. Um, I know I have some projects that I want him to work on as soon as he gets his car up and running. So hopefully there'll be a little bit of stuff in there for everybody. It's not just all going to be about his car. Um, anything you want to say about that? Nope. <laughs> Seriously. He yeah. covered it. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't advertise for him, nobody would even know that he had a channel. But um, he does try to explain things well and can provide some useful information. So check it out. And he does speak in those videos because I'm not in them and I'm not going to talk in them. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's jump into this video today. So. First of all, uh, let's do the meal prep review. So what did we have last week? We had the enchilada bubble up, the Emily Bites enchilada bubble up, and um, oh, the taco soup yep. with the corn muffins. So the taco soup is one of our favorites. We've had that several times. That's one of Charlie's favorites and we love it. We love the corn muffins. You really can't go wrong with that. I mean, I've made it so many times now. It's like second nature. In fact, somebody commented today that, that the recipe is so easy that they feel like they forget something whenever they make it. And I kind of feel the same way. I will double check my recipe because I'm like, is this really it? It's that easy and it's really delicious and it's really filling. Um, anything you want to say about it? It was really good and spicy this time. I like, I like it. So that was good. Yeah, we definitely like it spicy. We're going to pause real quick because the battery is flashing. Charlie's going to do a quick battery change. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Had to do a quick battery change. So, what was your question on the taco soup? It was getting spicy this time, so I was wondering if you added a, like a hotter rotel to it or something. Um, no, I did not. I actually used just a large can of the original rotel, and I just um, made it spicier by adding a lot of my ground cumin and chili powder and... Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Of course, I use a packet of the hot and spicy taco seasoning and a packet of original. But if I don't use like the fire roasted rotel, then I really go heavy on the chili powder and the cumin. And that really, which I, I know y'all know, I almost put that in everything. I feel like everything needs it. Everything needs it to be spicier. So those are my favorite combinations. So that was the only thing that was different. I didn't put any additional hot um, rotel or anything in it. So... I think that it was really good. 
and then the enchilada bubble up what do you think about that one that was our new one there's luna it's okay come on luna get, get your butt um, out of the way i thought it was pretty good um i know you didn't think it was quite as so i've had a lot of questions today and i've tried to answer everybody honestly on it so it was super easy to make and I would make it again. However, I feel like it was missing something. And I even added some additional spices. I think I added my chili powder and my ground cumin and stuff like that that wasn't even called for in the recipe. Um, so I don't know. I feel like it, it just wasn't spicy enough for me. So after I ate it the first night, the second and third nights, I put the Taco Bell hot sauce on it and that made it, you know, it gave it a little bit more flavor. Like I just didn't feel like it had any flavor. Hmm. I don't know. But he liked it okay the way that it was. I liked it. It's not that I disliked it and that I would never make it again. I just would, I would probably add in like some fire roasted rotel or something and really try to spice it up a little bit. It was just really mild to me. You know, every, it, the, it came out perfect. It baked perfectly. Um, it was super easy to make, almost too easy. But again, it just seemed, I don't know, bland. So I spiced it up a little bit with the Taco Bell sauce and it was still good. But, um, and then of course I made my cookies, which he doesn't eat, and then just my breakfast and fruit and stuff like that. So that's all for the meal prep review. Uh, for my weigh-in this week, I um, literally stayed exactly the same. I weighed in at 143 again. <laughs> so that's several weeks in a row that I feel like I have kind of maintained my weight. So if I don't have like a loss after this week, then I'm probably going to make a few changes. And I might go ahead and make a few of those changes um, this week. I feel like maybe I need to add some more protein. Like in the afternoons at work, I get snacky and I want to snack on my pistachios. But I'm thinking about taking um, some protein powder and some almond milk to work and then mixing me up a protein shake around four o'clock that can kind of be like my pre-workout because we are doing those evening workouts whenever I get home and um, you know I just feel like maybe I'm snacking a little bit too much on those although I don't eat my fit points I don't really eat all of my weekly points or anything but it is just I'm to the point now to where it is difficult for me to lose weight especially adding in the strength training uh, that we have right now four nights per week plus I'm doing my cardio and my core training five mornings so that's nine workouts during the week and you know my muscles are pretty sore I don't know about you if you've been sore mm -hmm. um, a little you know I feel like I've been fairly sore and uh, yeah, so I don't know if that has anything to do with not um, seeing any movement on the scale, but it's not really going up or anything. It's literally staying the same. And I've went through this several times to where I will just stall for several weeks at a time. And I don't know, my body sometimes just needs to adjust and eventually it will start coming down. My goal is to hit 138, so I'm literally five pounds away from my goal. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll stay where I'm at, and that's fine too. So anyway, um, enough about that. We're going to jump right into the Amazon favorites of mine. So I'm going to get Charlie to get up and kind of hand me those. Okay, so my first Amazon favorite that I'm going to talk about is this Renfo scale. And this is what I weigh myself on every morning. I'm going to lay it down because I don't want to mess it up or anything. This scale has an app on my phone and I love it. And I know that a lot of people don't like to weigh themselves all the time, but I do weigh myself every day. So I will see the daily fluctuations up and down and pretty much know, you know, whether or not I'm going to have a weight loss for the week. So it's really no surprise come Saturday morning whenever it's time for my weigh in. Uh, but the scale also on the app, it's going to give you your body fat percentage, your BMI, your muscle mass, your free body weight. I can't remember exactly all of them. Um, let me open it up and I'll tell you because I've got it right here in my hand, literally. So yeah, your weight, BMI, body fat, fat free body weight, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, body water, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, um, bone mass, protein, BMR, 
and then it gives you a metabolic age as well and then you can kind of go through and look at all of the trends of those and so this has been one of my favorite purchases it is linked in my Amazon store and I think that it's less than $30 so I think that it is highly worth it to have a scale like this if you really want to track and see the data and stuff and so if I just look at like say a week or two weeks it might just kind of be you know like a little line like this but if I go all the way back to August when I got this scale because I didn't get it at the beginning of my um, journey I got it in August last year and so I can still see like how it's swooped down and it's dropped it is really neat just to have that for the data and to keep up with it and then I just plug my weight in on my Weight Watchers app on my actual weigh-in day um, so I just put that in one time per week on the Weight Watchers app so let's jump into the next item okay so the next item that I'm just going to talk about are these shorts and these I have linked in my Amazon store under clothing probably these are super cheap shorts and they are all cotton I love them they're really stretchy I wear a size medium in them and these are the 15 inch length you know so they come down long enough on my thighs and everything and I know if a lot of y'all watch me on Instagram I will post walking on the treadmill and stuff and lots of times I'm wearing shorts whenever I'm working out and these are the shorts that I'm wearing and these are um, okay so I've got like seven or eight pairs of these I just bought some in January and they are $7.99 and they have different length this is the 15 inch length and they are $7.99 and I have six or seven pairs of them I'm probably gonna order a couple more just because they are so comfortable to lounge around in to sleep in to work out in everything but I love them for my morning workouts they are you know just so light I don't really feel like I'm wearing anything so I love those okay so the next thing I wanted to talk about is the branch chain amino acids that I've been using or BCAAs I know that a lot of y'all have questions about that and I basically have started taking this just because I have been having some leg cramps at night um, like Charlie horses and stuff that wake me up and what this does is it supports lean muscle and muscle recovery it's peptide linked branch chain amino acids and this is in the flavor watermelon ice they're really tasty um, I really uh, can get a lot of water in whenever I put this into my water and take it to work with me in the mornings I think that it is delicious I don't really know why I chose this particular brand I think this is about $24 or whatever on there and this is 30 servings probably yeah 30 servings so um, it's not something that everybody needs it is just a supplement and again I only started taking it because of the leg cramps that I was having so now I'm gonna move on to my protein powders I'm gonna do both of those together because y'all know these kind of come in a pair everybody who watches my channel knows that I love these I, I have these in my Amazon store I order these all the time to make my cookies with I know that a lot of people aren't that familiar with protein powders and stuff PE science is a great brand and I have tried several of their flavors I am going to try to pick up some snickerdoodle protein powder in the PE science and try to work on a different cookie flavor with that which I used to use the snickerdoodle all the time to make protein pancakes which was really good uh, back whenever I tracked macros and kind of was on more of a lower carb diet back then um, and so this one I actually learned about this brand whenever I went through my weight loss surgery and these have a lot of sweet flavors they are really sweet and a lot of people that are going through weight loss surgery and stuff probably are drinking a lot of these shakes and stuff because you have to drink a lot of shakes you have to do a liquid diet for two weeks before surgery and you have to do a liquid diet after for quite a while and then you really need to supplement with protein for a long period of time until you are able to consume enough protein uh, and I still have a protein shake daily usually in my coffee I use the premier caramel protein shake but in the afternoons if I add in an additional protein shake I think I'm going to take maybe this peanut butter one and have it um, but there is a new protein powder out it's Alani new and it's the munchies I think or something and I saw somebody online drinking that and saying it was so good and has like little crunchy pieces in it and so that looked delicious so I might pick up some of that I need to check and see what the Weight Watchers points are on it because I really don't want to spend more than like two points on it um, which I think is how much a scoop of this is is two points plus if I put it in almond milk if I did just eight ounces of almond milk then that's going to be a point as well so again I love these for my cookies y'all know 
This is to me the perfect duo to make the cookies and I know that a lot of y'all have tried them and I hope that y'all love them as well. And so I have to talk about my handy dandy little salad spinner which you never really see me spinning salad in it. I hardly ever really do that because I like to buy my green leaf lettuce that's already chopped and washed and ready to go. But we wash all of our fruits and vegetables in this and I think this is a handy tool. It has the nice little basket. You know, I like to wash everything in with the vinegar and water and let it soak. And um, yeah, I saw this on I think uh, Jen Chapin's channel and uh, I had to order one. I think I ordered one through her link or whatever on Amazon and I have this linked in my Amazon store as well. This is the OXO or OXO brand. Um, sometimes you can find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I don't know if Target or whatever sells them. You know, there's all kinds of different salad spinners, but it doesn't have to be used just to, you know, be a salad spinner. Again, I just love it just because of the ease of washing my fruits and veggies and letting them soak and having that strainer there. So y'all see me do that with my blueberries pretty much every day. Charlie also washes the peppers and stuff like that in it before he chops those up and the tomato and stuff. It's just easy to have sitting in the sink and we can let stuff soak and rinse it off and strain it. And um, so yeah, Oxo Salad Spinner, great investment. And then these, I don't think they're linked in my store at the moment, but I thought about this and I think I got these from Jen Chapin as well, which if y'all don't follow her, she posts a lot of um, cooking videos. She's not necessarily on a diet or anything, but she has a lot of uh, useful tips and um, y'all see me probably use the green belt all the time either to mix up my protein cookies or my corn muffins or whatever it is. The garlic rolls, those are usually the ones that I use that for. I do use these smaller bowls, you know, for other little things as well. But what I really like about them is they're kind of grippy on the bottom so they're not going to move around and they do have the little spout and these do come in a trio. I will make sure that they are linked in my store if they're still available. They are Cuisinart. I've had them for a long time, but um, yeah, you can't go wrong with these. They are so handy, and uh, I love them. I use it almost every meal prep. I know I use the green bowl every time, and sometimes you might see the yellow one and the blue one come out. And then the last thing I was going to show is my new um, laptop cover. And that's just because y'all know I got my new laptop or, well, hopefully you know by this video. You know, last week we struggled getting to the store and it was closed. But I ordered this laptop cover and I think that it's really cool looking. And just to really protect the laptop because this was an investment and I don't want to scratch the top of it or anything. It's kind of a matte space gray color. But, um, yeah, it fits on here perfectly. It was only $19.99. And I will link that in the uh, tech part of my store as well because I love it and I feel great having it on my laptop. And so those are just a few of my Amazon favorites that I wanted to share with y'all today. So hopefully you check them out. My Amazon store link is down in the description box below. And if you order through my store, of course, I do get a small commission from that. But I guess that that is all for the video today. Do you have anything else, Charlie? Of course not. He has nothing else to say. <laughs> Come over here and give him a smile at least. Um, Charlie's always so helpful. You know, he's cleaned up the kitchen and done everything and done all of my prep work and stuff today. And uh, I do like having him in here for the meal prep reviews, mostly so that people can see, you know, that you can cook this food for your husband, for your family, for anyone in fact. It's nothing special about the food. It's just healthier versions of the food. It's not diet food and I think everything is good and I think that you're quite satisfied. You know, otherwise he can just choose to make something else for himself <laughs> if he doesn't want to eat it. It's the way that I see it. But anywho, we're going to go ahead and close out there. So be sure to check out my Amazon store and snag some of these items. Make those cookies if you haven't already. I know a bunch of y'all have. Um, and uh, thank you guys. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Do all of the things. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks, guys.